Hey guys, I'm the Kitty Gamer. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Majora's Mask 3D. In the last episode, we had defeated the, the boss in the in the ancient castle of Batana, and we've climbed up all the way from down. Let me see if I can get a better view. Probably can't get a very good view, but it's a long yeah. I from all the way down there. So now, in front of us, we have the Stone Tower Temple. There is a bat, and it's really annoying me. I need to kill it. It's not that important. Anyway, in order to get into this dungeon, we need to solve this last puzzle. But where is this bat? Jesus, it's annoying. <laughs> anyway. Seal up. Heal up. Very. No, I guess not. Arrows. Bombs. And magic. Cool. So, which switch should we press first? No, we want to do that one second. That should be good. Alright, let's pull out our ocarina. And my cheat sheet. It should be this one next. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh get the Zora mask. Where is it? Oh. Right here, and then let's also get the Goron mask for the next one. Like the guitar. Ah. There we go. It's been a while since I recorded, um, so remembering that is not that easy. All right, last one. Let's become a Goron. And there we have it. So let's uh, play that song. I wish you could skip this part too. Not that I don't like the song, but like since you're playing it so much in this point of the game it's a little bit annoying let's take this off now the entrance lies before us let me put on the bunny hood for better speed now we have the final level let's get on with it by the way it has my favorite music for any dungeon theme in all of Zelda All right, let's start off by killing this thing. There's a bomb shield over there. Oh, there's just a lot going on here. We have a save point right here too, just in case we need. That's actually pretty useful. All right, let's explore our surroundings. Lots of magic, hearts, arrows, magic. Locked door. It's down here. Another fairy. I have 18 hearts. I don't foresee... Actually, 17 hearts. I don't foresee myself dying for any reason. Especially with the double defense that we have. Anyway, uh, I think we should take the leftmost. Another bomb chill, see if we can sneak on it. No, guess not. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I guess it's lost. There's a lot going on in here. Hey. Hey. Okay, that should be... Okay, there's a switch over here, but uh, it's upside down. I guess it's for later. Well, I know it's for later. I shouldn't kid you guys. Uh, let's get bombs. We only have a couple, so... I'm gonna have to use the bomb shoes, but... Uh, it's cool.
This bomb chew really wants to get me, but he's really dumb. I, I, I don't know why I got a bomb, but it, it did the job. Cool. Um, can't get up there yet. At least it doesn't seem like it. Uh, let me get this block. Move around. I'm sure it goes on that block over there. Not the, the switch, the switch. I don't remember that switch being in there, though. I don't know. Maybe it was there, maybe it wasn't. Okay, uh... Let's play the... Elegy of Emptiness again. Alright. So we have another switch right here. These are the big switches that we were talking about that we can't press just as regular links, so we need Goron Link's, uh, Goron Link's really heavy form. It's a really interesting mechanic. Looks like we're missing one more switch. That's right here. Okay, looks like we need the Zora form now. That's what that switch is for. The block was for uh, because Deku Link is too light. Back to Young Link. Get the bunny hood so we can run faster. We have opened this area. I, I keep forgetting that I put my arrows in the. Well, actually, I took off my arrows completely. Ow. Okay, we can bomb this. Ow. Ah, I killed them too. That's awesome. Okay. If I remember correctly, you can bomb this one too. Just to save some time. No? Guess uh, I was wrong about that. Could have sworn it was something like that. Anyway, let's uh jump down here. I said jump down here. I said jump down here. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay, now we got light here. Can I reach over here? There we go. This dungeon is probably going to be separated into a few uh, episodes. Oh, I didn't know I could actually hit him with my sword. What this one? This is because this is the longest dungeon in the game. You'll see why later on. It's really, really long. I also gotta make sure to get all the stray fairies. That's gonna be difficult. I don't know if I remember everything correctly. Anyway, let's go back to Goron Link form because he can walk on the lava with no problem. So let's defeat everybody too. Ow. And that takes care of that. That's a key, I think. So what's in here? Another key? Oh no, this is part of the map. Cool. Uh, let's explore everything. Another heart. No more rupees. Let's see. Oh, look, there's a hook shot. 
over there. Let me get the... Well, the hookshot mark. I need to really... <laughs> I'm not in the best... Uh... See, I'm, I'm not in my A game today for some reason. I don't know what it is. And here's our first stray fairy. Perfect. All right, let's go back up. Come on. Cool. That's all set. All right, let's open this door. And we are in a room with water, which means it's over link time. But let's take a look at everything. So, okay, so there's a block that we have to take care of with the the mirror shield, I guess. The, I don't know. What, well, I know what that is. That's a, it's a monster we get later on. So let's dive in the water. Okay. What do we have down here? A door that we can't reach. Another door we can't reach. A path. Uh, the little hand. Let's kill that. We can probably jump onto that other edge over there. So let's uh, get a, some good distance. Ah, not a good angle. Let's try again. Just, it's, the mechanics are a little bit different on this. I used to be a pro at this on the N64, but hey, you gotta get used to these. Still, oh wait, did they add so you can just, huh, they made that much easier. They knew it was hard. I didn't see that. Before in the N64 version, you didn't have that ledge you can just grab on. You would have to perform that uh, that jump perfectly. Okay. I know what we need to do here. And that makes the treasure chest over there that we can get later as a stray fairy. Alright, let's go through here. There's a switch there we can't reach. Shut up, Beemos! Jesus! Alright. What we have here? Another light switch. Some enemies. Pots. And a surface up there. Didn't want to take a picture, but, you know. I always make that mistake, so. You guys are used to it by now. Ooh, there's a switch there. Um, I think we can get those to explode with our boomerangs. Not quite. Close, though. Let me get from this angle. Yeah, screw it. Let's just go like this. There we go. Perfect. Another, another treasure chest that we can't get to. That's going to be the, the theme for this <laughs> part of the, the dungeon. Unlocking stuff that we can't get to yet. That's what's confusing about it, because people forget. It's really hard. It's really easy to, to forget what you're doing or what you've done in this level. All right. Let's climb up here. We have another locked door. We have no keys. More money. All right, we have a frozen switch, so let's get the fire arrows. And another upside down chest, but that's okay. Okay, so this is the interesting mechanic here with the light and the mirror. So the mirror charges depending on how much light you cast on it. So we want to cast light for just a few seconds to charge enough light to give us some time to run over, get this light, 
and shine it ah oh, over there yeah there we go perfect and we have another treasure chest here with that's guarded by a bomb too no thank you this is probably a compass Cool, now I have the compass. Um, am I forgetting something in here? No, we need to get a key, so we have to come back over here. Okay, so we're back into the main part of the room. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Ow. Um, let's go back. I feel like we missed something. I know we've missed something very important. Let's, uh, jump back into the water. Let's see. The switch over there, it's upside down, we can't reach it. That's... Where we came from over there. Let's see. Let's clear out the enemy so we can think properly. Alright. So, we have the upside down chest, the light switch. Um, let's float up to... To where we came from in this room. Go over here. Another switch we can't reach. I think it's a good idea if we retrace our steps just a little bit because we're missing a key. Okay, this one we're supposed to do that jump, I guess. This may take a couple of tries because it's it's not as easy. It may it might look easy, but it's not. Oh, I almost had that one. Maybe it's not even possible on this version. Maybe the mechanics just change too much, but let's do it. Let's do it. I keep hitting that pillar. If it wasn't for that I need let me just move because this is getting annoying. And I'm gonna run out of MP, so. I feel like we can't do it. Is there like a hook shot thing anywhere? No, not that it would matter. Maybe I don't need to be that far away. Maybe that's what's messing me up. Yeah, that's what's messing me up. I need to do it closer. All right, let's take a look at this room. There may be, well, there's another door over there that we can't reach. Um, okay, let's go through this door. This is to go down there. Alright, let's head back to the main part of the room. Alright. Oh, there's a switch I haven't pressed. Look at that. There we go. Bob, that's a stray fairy, though. Huh. Let's jump from this angle. There's another light switch there, but no, nothing to shine light on it. So we're missing a key. I'm already stuck. They might, they might have changed something, because I feel like I've done any everything. Very interesting. 
we'll figure that out in the next episode looks like we've run out of time thank you guys so much for watching uh please leave a like if you enjoyed the video likewise subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and as always i will see you guys in the next video later